Welcome back. District tournaments across the state wrapped up Friday night, including several right here in the mountains. Yes, Josh McKinney recaps Friday night and gives us a glimpse of next week in tonight's least famous recipe, Hazard and Whitesburg, Full Court Press. Now that the district championship games have been played, it is really win or go home for the 256 high school basketball teams still alive in the postseason. Friday night, several teams punched their ticket to be a number one seed in next week's region tournaments. The Clay County Tigers used a big second half to win its 13th consecutive 49th district championship, beating rival North Laurel 62-54. Also in the 13th region, Knox Central captured the 51st district title with a 10-point win over city rival Barberville. Moving east to the 14th region, head coach Ryan Whitaker led his Powell County Pirates to a 56th district championship over Caleb Bonney and the Estill County Engineers. And Jackson City, 55th district champions after knocking off city rival Breathitt County in the Ferris O. Woods Coliseum. A couple of repeat district winners in Floyd County for just the second time ever, the Prestonsburg Lady Black Cats won back-to-back -back titles, beating Betsy Lane 53-47 in the final. And South Floyd improved a seven and one all time in district championship games, beating Allen Central for a second straight season, 68 58. And finally, in the 59th district in Pike County, the Shelby Valley Lady Cats made it eight straight wins by beating Pikeville to win the district crown. And the East Ridge Warriors, led by Randy McCoy, entered the 15th region tournament as a district winner after knocking off Pikeville, 52 43. 256 teams, nine days, 32 region champions. The road to the Sweet 16s has officially begun.